Bye. Hello and welcome back to a Flippin' Mess reselling channel. Today we're going to go over what sold for me on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot for this week. These are items that I bought from places like Goodwill, Salvation Army, thrift stores, uh, auctions, and sometimes retailers, and even estate sales. Um, so we're going to get started with eBay first. Um, I sold a pair of three people corduroy pants for $12 and I paid $6.99 for those. I sold a pair of Ariat loafers for $46.65 and I paid $19.99. I sold a pair of pajama shorts for $8.95 that I paid $2 for in a bulk buy. I sold a pair of fleece lined Crocs for $50.90 and I paid $32. Those were bought from Ross and I did have those a long time. I sold a pair of Clark's sandals for $15.35 and I paid $5.90. I sold a new with tax pair of Sanook Yoga Sling sandals for $20 and I paid $5.55. I sold a pair of used on cloud shoes for $45. I paid $19.99 for those. And those were a fairly quick sale within a couple months. I sold a Talavera turtle, uh, powdery turtle for $21.50. I only paid $3.99. I love picking up the Talavera pieces because they're bright and colorful, um, but they do sometimes take a long time to sell. I sold a crab brooch. If you don't look at brooches, I definitely would. Jewelry is a slower mover on sites like eBay, but sometimes you can get a high dollar amount for jewelry. So this particular one was a sterling silver crab um, astrology brooch. It sold for $60, it went overseas, and I paid $13 for it at auction. I sold another pair of the pajama shorts for $8.95 and I paid two. I sold an anthropology Maeve dress for $30 and I paid $11.49 at Goodwill. This was another quick seller within a week or two of being listed. I sold a pair of Bernardo sandals for $25 and I paid $7.99. I sold an Eliza J floral dress for $21.15. I paid $2.88 at the Goodwill 75% off sale and this was a uh, a quick flip a week or two at most. Um, I sold a Talbot's dress for $18.41 and that one I paid $10.49 for. I'm slowing down on picking up Talbot's dresses or at least being pickier about the style of the dresses um, because I used to be able to get like $28 to $40 for a Talbot's dress and now the prices seem to be going down. <clears throat> I sold an M.M. Lafleur dress, a beautiful purple dress for $40 and I paid $11.49. I sold a pair of Ed Hardy jeans. Um, they were heavily embroidered with um, a tiger and a bunch of other details for $50 and I paid $8.49 for those at Goodwill. I sold a Bowden Mabel dress for $18 and I paid $6. I sold a fake apple pie for $32 that I paid $3.75 for. I sold a pair of Banana Republic New Attack pants for $16. I paid $1.69 for those at Goodwill. I generally don't pick up Banana Republic unless it's priced like that, a dollar or two. Um, I sold a pair of Nike Air Max 95s for $40 and I paid $17.99. Um, I sold a pair of Figs scrub pants. If you don't know that brand, it's a great brand to pick up and flip. I sold them for $13 and I paid $4. I sold a chunky mid-century modern uh, gold tone bracelet for $15.96 and I paid $5. I sold an Orvis shirt, men's shirt, for $15.10. I paid $7.99. Um, generally, I don't recommend picking up Orvis unless it's um, like a heavy-duty wool blazer or a heavy-duty coat. I sold a pair of New Attacks Peloton leggings for $35.90 and I paid $14.99 and those were from Burlington. 
Um, I sold a pair of Lucky Loafers for 11. I paid 5.99, so not a good flip there. Lucky is weird. Some pieces do great and some don't. I sold a pair of Deer Foam slippers for $16.50. I paid $3 for those at Marshalls, but they did take a while to sell, like over a year, a while. I sold a Bowden dress for $15 and I paid six. I sold a butterfly brooch. Um, this was an old one, uh, cloisonne, for $11.90. I paid a dollar. Um, the way that I knew it was old is it had a C clasp instead of the normal closing clasp. I sold a pair of Sperry flats for only $10. They um, had some leather, I wouldn't say it was cracking, but um, like aging, we'll call it that. Um, and I only paid $1.25. I sold a Tadashi Shoji dress for $25 and I paid $7.50. Generally, Tadashi Shoji, I like to get a lot more than $25 for, um, but this one, um, the measurement seemed really small for the size, and I kept getting questions about it, so when I finally got an offer, I just decided to take it. So my totals for eBay um, was $749.22 in sales, and the cost of goods was $310.04 which um, was a decent week for eBay. On Poshmark, I sold a pair of Beta brand pants um, for $15 and I paid $6.99. I sold a pair of Seven for All Mankind bootcut jeans for $18 and I paid $4.99. I sold a pair of um, Jordan pants for $40. I paid $24.99 for those from Ross and they sold fairly quickly. I sold a pair of Dance Go Mules for $61. Um, this is a case where Dance Go did very well. Um, these were red leather, so kind of a unique color. Um, and I paid $7.79 for those. I sold a pair of used LeBron 19 shoes for $62 and I paid $9.99. For those um, and I sold Anyi Lu heels for 37 and I paid six dollars and 99 cents I sold some uh, Steve Madden uh, boots for 25 I paid 11.25 and I sold a pair of sole naturalizer boots for 30 and I paid three dollars and 75 cents from Goodwill and that was a pickup that I almost didn't even do even at that cheap because I didn't know if the brand would move. Plus, I think they were a large size for women. I sold a Nike sweatshirt for 25 that I paid 15 for. And I sold a pair of Puma suede shoes for 30 that I paid 425 for. Now I was happy with that sale because I was pleasantly surprised that a pair of Pumas went that high. And I sold a New Day dress, which is a Target brand. Um, this is another piece I've had since I used to flip from pallets for nine and I paid $2 for it. And I sold a pair of Joie boots for 20 that I paid 10 for. Um, <clears throat> and those I had had for about a year. So that's why I took the low offer on those. So my Poshmark sales were $372 with a cost of goods of $107.99. Then on Mercari, I sold a Nike shirt that was pretty much a breathable t-shirt for $9 and I paid $1.88. I sold a pair of men's Kohan loafers. These were in really good condition for $28 and I paid $12 for those. I sold a, a fleece lined L.L. Bean shirt jacket jacket for $20 that I paid $4.99 for. And I sold a pair of Prana joggers for 15 that I paid $3.75 for. And I sold a pair of Lululemon shorts for 26 that I paid $8 for. And a Victoria's Secret bra for eight that I paid $4.99 for. So my total Mercari sales were $106 and my cost of goods were $35.61. My um, buyers pay the shipping on everything. So you don't have to deduct shipping from the sales. My total sales were $1,227.22.
My total cost of goods was $453.64 for a net of $773.58. And I figured my fees at 20% because that accounts for the range from 9% up to just over 20% if I promote my listings. So my fees would be $245.44 and my net came out to $528.14. So considering that I'm a full-time teacher and this is um, my side gig during the school year, that's a pretty good week. So I'm really happy with my sales and I hope if you're a reseller that you had a great week too. Thank you and please join me again.